Good morning. <clears throat> Thank you for having us. We're excited to demonstrate our mobile applications and how we're using our mobile applications to engage our customers and work with you to engage your customers. Before we jump into that, I'm Trey Lochran, president of our Equifax's direct-to-consumer business personal solutions. Peter Schoenrock is SVP of product development for that business unit. Just a moment about Equifax for those of you who aren't familiar. We are a, global, a leading global information company. Uh, we have uh, been around for about 105 years, but uh, hopefully we can show you that 100-year-old companies can still innovate as well. We, um, we uh, aggregate and consolidate data and analyze data on over 500 million consumers and over 80 million businesses worldwide. And that data includes credit data, uh, income and employment data, property data, wealth and asset data, uh, credit, uh, utilities and uh, telco data and, and a number of other data sources that we aggregate to uh, allow our customers to better make critical decisions around their customers. Uh, the uh, Equifax Personal Solutions business is our direct-to-consumer business that allow, that where we provide premium credit and information, credit and identity services directly to individuals to help them make better financial decisions and really at the end of the day give them the confidence and control to be their financial best. When we looked a year ago at, at the mobile application, uh, there were really three guiding principles we were looking at and looking at mobile. Number one is that we wanted to engage the consumer. Secondly, with relevant content and information for what's relevant to the mobile experience. And third, that would encourage the consumer to come back and re-engage and return to our products and services. And that, that's been our guiding principle. So now I'll hand it over to Peter to walk through the application. So this morning I'm going to show you two things. Uh, first, I'm going to show you what we call Equifax Places, where we've taken various data from the credit file and we've aggregated that uh, and presented out such that people can do a little research on uh, neighborhoods and zip codes. And this is um, an unauthenticated experience, so we can present this data through your applications, again, to drive uh, customer engagement and hopefully repeat visits. So the three areas that we look at, the first is the Equifax credit score. And you can see, for example, if I were looking for a place to live here in New York and I was going into uh, zip code 10036, which is where we are now, I can see that the average credit score in this zip code is 716. I can see the surrounding uh, areas to see which is the best place that I would want to live. But I could either go a little deeper and look into the credit rankings and see by zip code what is the uh, total debt for everyone who, or the average total debt for everyone who lives in that zip code. And I can see that broken down by credit card debt, mortgage, auto. I can see the number of inquiries. I can see the number of open trade lines. And so we look at this as a way for people to do some research on neighborhoods. If you can imagine someone driving around in a car and looking at homes and they see a home, they pull up to the curb and just wonder, well, what is this zip code like? What is the socioeconomic um, you know, nature of this zip code? Is this someplace I'd like to live? <clears throat> the last view gets into uh, a fraud index, which basically aggregates uh, reported fraud to the credit file. And you can see how safe that neighborhood is. The second thing I'd like to show you gets into uh, the more of the personal products. So this is through uh, after an authentication where I can go in, and this is our Equifax Complete Premier Plan, and I can go in and see my credit monitoring alerts. So in the current situation, alerts are delivered to a consumer through an email or an SMS text that requires that consumer to come back, log in to basically a desktop internet or through a wireless browser, and view the alert detail. What we've done is taken that to the next step where we can do the push notifications, show here are the changes that have been uh, reported to your credit file, a balance inquiry or a balance, an inquiry balance change, a bankruptcy and address change, and we can deliver that straight to the consumer through the mobile app such that they can immediately take action. So here, for example, I have a balance percent decrease, and I can look at that and say, well, wait, there's something wrong here. This, this isn't really... I don't understand this. I could really just go in, look at the company, contact information, and call right then and there if there happens to be an issue. In addition to the alerts, we have the ability to lock your Equifax credit file. So think about someone on a Saturday morning. I'm going out. I'm looking for a car. I've locked my Equifax credit file. I've basically gone through and uh, you know protected my identity. But I show up in the, uh, the dealership. I want to look at a car, I find one that I want, I can go in, I can unlock my file, I can pull up my credit score, see where I stand, basically have that data at my disposal so I'm in a better position to negotiate for that car. I can look in and see what are the factors impacting my score, 
So I can see here, for example, amount of new credit is poor, and that's really what's been impacting me. I can see risk rating where lenders would view me. But again, in that mobile experience in that car dealership, it empowers me to have a much better conversation around financing around that car. The last thing I'll show you is a credit report summary. So for many of you, if you've pulled your credit report, you'll notice that there's pages upon pages if you've been very credit active, which shows, um, excuse me one second. <laughs> Remember, my credit report is locked. All right. <laughs> but the credit report summary basically goes in, and we can't show all of the open trade lines and all of the historical data, but we can go in and show a summary. So I can see my total number of open accounts. I can see my total balances from a mortgage perspective. I can see my total revolving or credit card. I can see my total installment. And again, it gives me that clear picture of my credit profile. And again, from a mobile perspective, it really drives the power into the individual's hands so they can access the power of their credit and leverage their credit wherever they happen to be. So we would encourage all of you to go out and download the app. Obviously, it's on the App Store and uh, for, for, um, for Android and iPhone and iPad. And, um, and take a look at it. And we look forward to the opportunity to work with some of you to help you engage your consumer customers the way that we're engaging our customers. Thank you.